it ever get old hearing that, Seth? No, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I like that still. That's the first time I've heard the still WWE World still. Heavyweight Champion. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. First title defense at Extreme Rules last Sunday. Not too bad. Seth Rollins in the studio with us. It's Dwyer and Michael, 733. Congratulations. Um, we were talking uh, during that song. 25 years ago, when you're in the area setting up uh, wrestling matches on a trampoline in your backyard, <laughs> putting up posters on the telephone poles, leading up to this night fair to say in your hometown to be the world champion yeah man i would ask did you ever anticipate this or see this coming and i, w- I would say the cliched answer would be yes you were planning on it but in reality well is that the cliched i feel like the cliched answer is the other one like no you know not in my wildest dreams i just wanted to be humble and successful right. and moderately decent at this but no i i i feel i feel like the the kind of you know, jerk answer, but the, <laughs> but, the, but the real one is, yeah, I did. I mean, I, this is what I always wanted to you, do. You know you what I mean? You always wanted it. Yeah, when I was waiting okay. outside of the uh, iWireless <laughs> Center to get tickets to SmackDown and watch, you know, Rob Van Dam do a frog splash when I was like 17, uh, <laughs> I was always hoping that I would be able to come back and some little kid would be waiting for tickets at the, you know, iWireless Center for me when I'm the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. So, yeah, kind of. I, I did expect this, or at least hoped for it anyway. And were you the kid in the front row screaming at him going, I'm going to have your job someday you're like syndrome in the, in the incredibles yeah yeah i mean really? I, I mean okay. i was pretty intense yeah i mean i wouldn't i don't know if i was gonna ha- take his job from him but i certainly would love to have wrestled rob van dam which i have done a couple of times too so that's, that's pretty awesome as well now it, it's it's a kind of a unique situation you're in front of your hometown but you're a bad guy <laughs> and people are, are cheering for the bad guy in fact i think was it randy orton there is like you want this guy to win? <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm not a bad guy per se, but it's an interesting situation. I'm very curious to see how the crowd will respond uh, tonight and how I'll respond to the crowd. I kind of take it as a bit of a challenge. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how they feel about me by the end of the night. Maybe they'll denounce me as their hometown boy by by the end of the whole. Deal. Oh no! Don't say anything you're going to regret. I mean, there's plenty of you know bad things I can say about the area, so we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I mean, I love it here. Don't get me wrong, but it's a, you know, it's still the Quad Cities. So. It's a job, though. You got a job to do, right? Exactly. We've been uh, getting emails uh, prior to your appearance on our show this morning. We should compare notes. Who's getting more messages? You, your personal cell phone, or our, every one of your relatives have crawled out of the woodwork this morning. Oh yeah, and reached out to every us. one of them. Hey, you guys, this is Kim. Uh, what time will Seth be on today? He's my nephew. I, I never get to see him or hear him. I, I'm missing his interviews. I'm listening online in Iowa City. Uh, is this true? Do you know who I'm talking Aunt about? Kim? Oh, that's Aunt Kim. Yeah. <laughs> and and how was his impersonation? Of Love her? her to death. I mean, she's not that. I mean, she's she she's excited. You Thank know you, know Seth. I mean? I'm not this excited normally, uh, but when you're <laughs> She uh, is, she uh, I believe she's a nurse manager. She is in she's Iowa City. Extremely hardworking woman. I love her to death. That's awesome that she. I don't want to miss it. She's listening right now. Phenomenal. So. Well, hello, Ann Kim. How are you? Hope to see you tonight. Uh, dear dorks, even though he's a heel. Oh. Ooh. Well, my boys and I will have a sign for him tonight. All right, good. See? As long as it's appropriate, don't let him take it away from you. I I love a good sign. I love a good Seth Rollins sign. I appreciate that he still uses Davenport, Iowa as his hometown when he's announced. It is my hometown. Right on. (laughs) I live in Davenport, Iowa. Where where else would I be from? Well, there's uh, other folks from the Quad Cities have made it big and have uh, conveniently forgotten. Is that true? That is very true. There are uh, some basketball players. Who who was the basketball player that went to Davenport North, and then when he made it big, uh, he said, ah, I'm from Chicago. Uh, oh, okay. man, really? Uh, look that up, you guys. You know who I'm talking about? What Wild a, man would know. What he, a yeah. bummer. He was yeah. hammering. Him. Who was it? I can't remember, but I know exactly who yeah. we'll, we'll find it. He could use a curb stomp. Yes, oh, man, that's yes, that's terrible. Why would he do such a thing? Because it doesn't sound cool. Every, you know what they think of, what people think of when they say Davenport. The first thing they're going to show, if, if, if they do a bio picture of you, is cornfield and, yeah. a, pi- and a pig. Right? That's the two things right. they always show. Corn and bacon. What's wrong with that? Well, in some circles, that is not cool. I like being well fed. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Right. Well, when you, uh, and I wouldn't mind owning a baby pig for a pet. Just, I'll just throw that out there as well. <laughs> Be careful, because you're going to be out here for f- there's 15 minutes away. You'll probably see one. But if, if uh, when you first started into the ranks and you're telling people where you're from, did it ever 
was it ever frustrating because you tell people, yeah, I'm from Davenport, and then you have to say what immediately? It's about two hours outside of Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, wait, wait, where's that at? Oh, it's right along the river. Right. About and then they go, hours from right. and then they say Des Moines. Yeah. And you go, no, it's actually further away from Des Moines than it is from Chicago. So that's what happens. But that's, yes, that's true. But people respond to the fact that you hold true to Davenport, and oh, that, that's cool. So you can be how you can be portrayed, however, but but in your your hometown knows you. No, yeah. that's good. I, I dig it. I never even really considered having. An, Another Different, hometown, right. yeah, it never even crossed my mind. But you're right, I guess. I guess I took it as a, a matter of personal pride in a sense that, like, there weren't that many people that came from Davenport, sure. Iowa. Sure, like, it makes the story even that much greater. So, yeah, it's like, you know, I, I'm like, launch, yeah, I, yeah, damn sure. right I came from Davenport, Iowa. What are you going to do about it, you know? Uh, the basketball player was Ricky Davis. Oh, Ricky Davis. Remember? Yeah. He huh? kind he of... said he's d- from Chicago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he... Ah, oh, what a bummer! Yeah. I was kind of a Ricky Davis fan too. You, you, you like, still he, can be, but that's no, just, no, no you can't. Be, that's no. it. He's out. Wow. He's out. He's done. Pretty He's black gone. and white with you, isn't it? I'm not. That's uh, I wrote him off. <clears throat> Ricky Davis. Look at all the emails that we're getting. I'm, I'm surprised that I forgot that. Okay, so you were here uh, a while ago. How is it different this time around? Obviously, uh, you're the world champ. Um, it, 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 you still got to get up at crappy hours to come and do crappy radio well, shows. I mean, that you, thing doesn't change. You say get up as if I went to sleep last <laughs> night. You realize I drove five hours from Green Bay after the show last night, so I didn't get into Davenport till four thirty in the morning. Whoa, so. whoa, whoa! Drove? Where's yeah. the plane? Come ah, on, come on, no, man! I'm still old school. <laughs> no, still old school. Nothing has changed. The, nothing. The chairman. I mean, not that nothing has changed. I mean, the day after WrestleMania, I was on a private jet. To New York City to do the Today Show, okay, yeah. All and right. then on a private jet right back across the country to do Raw that night. So I mean, the, some things have changed, right. but uh, you know, at the end of the day, last night after Raw, I'm still crammed into a Toyota Prius with five dudes mm-hmm. and a bunch of luggage, just trucking it. You know, that sounds like down. it smells great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you like Taco Bell and farts, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do. I do. Way to clam it up for us. If if that's your Yankee Candle fragrance of choice, I don't know. You're listening to the worst of Dwyer and Michaels on 97X. Seth Rollins, WWE Heavyweight World Champion, in the studio with us. Is the belt on the line tonight? Uh, that I don't know. I would be willing to say no, but you never know. Anything could happen. SmackDown. Uh, and we got King of the Ring finals tonight, too, before SmackDown. That'll be live on the WWE Network. So uh, anything could happen, but I would venture a guess to say probably not. Matt, get a close-up picture of uh, that belt. That thing is a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Yeah, uh, it, it's. it's I'm, I try lugging it around all the time. <laughs> <laughs> try going through an airport with that deal. I what, know. Last time we talked about the uh, the briefcase, I was having to lug to the airport. This isn't any easier. What What do they say? Do uh, Do you get recognized as you're going through security? And they're like, "Yeah, right. Whatever." We see a dozen guys come through here with these belts, Mister. I mean, Let's not a, for the pat, not down. a dozen, but yeah. I mean, it, it, we, I put it in my carry on, and then it goes through the X ray, and then there, you know, sometimes yeah. no one cares, and sometimes they're like, "Hey, the pilot's wearing it." But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they want to open it up and take it out and look at it, and it's like, all right. Geez. Um, 30 in the morning, <laughs> just trying to get on my flight. Uh, the last time you were here, we were talking about your wrestling academy, Black and Brave Wrestling Academy. Um, it was full, and you were looking to start the next round. Now you're already booking for, what, next year, 2016. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we're all booked up. We just finished our second class a few weeks back, about to start our third class here in another week, and uh, taking applications for 2016 because all of our 2015 classes are filled up. So that's pretty awesome. You told us that you would anticipate you would have at least one person drop out the first day. Did that happen? Uh, no. Actually, really? We did not have any. Oh. We did not. We had, uh, I want to say, three or four separate pukers though awesome. on the first right. day which awesome. was pretty cool so uh, because the first day is not it may not be what you expect it's a little <laughs> it's a little um it, it, it it's not good it's, <laughs> it's not good I, I i like to uh it's my screening process essentially i like to bring the guys in guys and girls and and put them through a bit of a workout and get them get them make sure they're they're there for the long haul we did not have any people drop out the first day like i said we had a good three or four pukers so- uh, and we, but we had, I think it was like eleven people complete the class out of twelve. We did have one guy drop out, but it wasn't. It was a couple, 
couple weeks down the road. All right. That's uh, that's a lot of kids uh, also going through the uh, you know the trampoline phase when they're younger, and then the ability to come in. I would do this class in a second if it weren't for all the. The, well, the physical heavy, activity, heavy physical activity, <laughs> and all that cardio. So, if you could do, if I don't know if you're doing like levels of classes, uh, but if, no. if there was it's like, like driver's ed, uh, I, I, I feel, I feel like, like there's a there's a level of physicality to what we do that you just kind of can't avoid. So I feel like it just may maybe not your thing. All right, mm. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, you just need I, somebody to you know, mop up or anything. You know. But I still want to part with my cash. What if there was a what like I? Hey, get, we'll take your cash. I, we'll find something for you to I do. I get so. excited when I watch SmackDown at home. What yeah. if there was like a this is the way to watch it? You set up like a like a living room. And then there's some crap there I can break when things don't go my way, and that's my class. Well, it's like it's not your stuff that you're breaking. Right. It's somebody, it's somebody else's yes. stuff. Maybe it's Aunt Kim's stuff. No, I don't know. Oh, man. <laughs> no, you don't want to. She, she would, you don't want to no, test the, no. aunt, the are, auntie's China. Are you, uh, <laughs> you going to compete in the CrossFit games? So the, I did the Open, which is like the World Wide Open. Literally anybody in this room can sign up for the World Wide Open. Except for me. And no, you can sign up for it. They have a master's division. <laughs> um, Matures. Yeah, they, they have a master's. Masters. masters. Uh-huh. So, uh, yeah, they have – They anybody can sign up for it. It's a five-week uh, – Five weeks, every week they release a workout. You have like three or four days to do the workout and post your score and video online. And then you're competing uh, with your region. Now, uh, I'm a professional athlete, but these guys train. They live, eat, breathe, sleep fitness. So, like, I didn't make the regionals. My team that I'm sponsoring that goes to our gym, they made regionals. Mm -hmm. um, And so they'll be going to Minneapolis here at the end of May to compete against all the other teams and stuff like that. And if they do well there, then they'll go out to L.A. and do the the games later in the summer. And they got a pretty good shot at it. Nice. They're great athletes. But, yeah, I'm just – I mean, I'm all right. I mean, clearly I'm in decent shape, but, I mean, I just don't have – I, I spread myself pretty thin, but I, I, it would be almost impossible for me to, to make it to the games based on the level of training those top-tier athletes uh, the, are into. The difference between you not making the CrossFit games and everybody else, everybody else goes back to work on Monday and goes, yeah, I didn't make it. <laughs> you go back, and you're the you're the heavyweight champ of the world of the WWE. So. Yeah, like I said, I, yeah. I spread myself pretty thin right. between a wrestling school and all the travel and you know being the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. The CrossFit games... It would be cool, but for me, I just use CrossFit as a great way to stay in shape. So, well, we were ta- and we got a question about that. How often are you at the gym here in town? Uh, so I'm home middle of the week usually. Um, but I'm, every week you're you're there for at least a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, we run classes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I'm usually there Wednesday or Thursday. Okay. Uh, or Wednesday and Thursday, and uh, it's in uh, the Motown M- Moline location. Uh, of Quad City CrossFit, so usually I'll be working out while the class is kind of getting going, and then uh, I'll step in here and there and do a little bit of uh, training. What okay. Do you, what do you bench? What do I bench? At about 300. God, I admire you. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bench, bench isn't really you know, my strong I, suit. Yeah, mine either. Mine, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm with you. About a buck, buck 50 <laughs> on a good day. Um, <laughs> here's a question, and I, this is a great one. Uh, would you ask this of Seth? When he won the belt, where was the first place he was excited to take it? You know, to go and take it and say, see, I told you so. Uh, actually, I took it back to Buffalo, yeah. Iowa, to my dad's house, where um, there's actually a picture on my Instagram of me and my brother out in uh, our front yard with, uh, I think he's holding the title, yeah. and I'm holding um, a little plastic case with a Jake the Snake Roberts action figure inside of it. Um, and that was our collection jar when we used to have our shows in my dad's front yard. Uh, we would just pass that around because we didn't charge admission because clearly you could just stand in the street and watch it. Um, so, But we would, we would hand out pass this little plate. collection jar and we would people would put in a couple of bucks or some change here and there and then after the show we would take that you know there's four or five of us having matches or whatever we would take that down to a delicious little restaurant called Clark's Landing yeah and we, right. would, we would have a, a nice meal afterwards so uh, I just thought it was very fitting that I brought the WWE World Heavyweight Championship back to the place where uh, we all kind of started where it all started yeah that was my that was my first instinct was to take it back there that's yeah. so cool let you my keep, brother hold it you keep telling stories like that it's going to be hard for people to not like you yeah uh, bad guy <laughs> yeah uh, here, listen to this from twitter which uh, I think is very cool. Dear Dorks, uh, Seth replaced CM Punk as my favorite wrestler. 
I hope he's as cool as he sounds. Welcome home, Seth. Uh, dude, you are as advertised. It is, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, there's absolutely, we've, we've had a lot of, we've had a lot of WWE guys in here and we get along with almost all of them. Some of them have been, you know, not cool, but <laughs> some of them just are they, but this is, I can't even begin to describe to people how different it is to have you come in here as the champ and and not be any different, except you wore a suit jacket in here this time. That's the only, that's really the it's only difference. It's cold. I feel like I wore a suit jacket last time. Oh, I don't think so. I mean, I'm not going to fight Justin, you. Justin, did I wear a suit jacket last time? I would have to go back to the video. Clip. Okay, because I, right. I pretty much always, for me, okay. I always wear a suit jacket. All right. Yeah. It's oh, shinier. Maybe it's the, a shinier <laughs> suit jacket. Right. Well, maybe the t-shirt was so, tighter, but something was uh, yeah. amiss. I so, uh, do you get <laughs> if, if if you walk around the Quad Cities, are you instantly recognized, or do you just kind of blend in? No, I'm mean, yeah, not not even the Quad Cities. It's pretty much everywhere. Everywhere, point. yeah. It becomes problematic, like to go places. It becomes an issue. Uh, I'm not like John Cena level, where like I literally can't go anywhere and yeah. I'm a hermit. But like, uh, if I am out at like a Target, I'm I'm in a hat and like I'm kind of like what are you buying at Target? Looking around. <laughs> Eggs? I don't know. <laughs> you hear that, you folks from Target? Get a get an end cap. These are yes. the ones right, right. here. Uh, the, uh... I'm actually a high V guy when it comes uh, okay. to the groceries. To be honest uh, with you, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, they got they got farm fresh eggs. So yes. I mean, I you know I like them fresh like that. I'm I, I'm wary of the uh, the mass produced variety. But yeah, eggs, butter. I need groceries, man. I got to cook when I'm home. You got there's one, two, three, four. You got five people ah. in for your, waiting no. on you. Like, oh, these are your people. No, I, everyone knows that your eggs are the best eggs, right? Sure. Right. Yeah, that's yep. just how that is. So uh -huh. usually I don't, I, and I'm honest, I don't, I don't cook a lot of dinners. But every time I'm home, I do cook breakfast. That's so like my thing. Bacon. And what's eggs. in your fridge right now that you would, <laughs> if you had to make an omelet right now with the okay. crap that's in your fridge? Well, let's let's be clear here. Today is my first day home in three weeks. Oh. Cheat day. That's I haven't be ugly. Been, well, first of all, I don't have a cheat day. I don't diet. Okay. Because uh, I just eat what I want. Me too. Uh, <laughs> we are so alike. Yeah. All right, but if we were to look at your refrigerator, there's, we would find. You would find. There's literally nothing in my refrigerator. Because I've been gone for three weeks. I cleaned it all out all right. before I left. And I, there's two beers in there. All right. Because <laughs> they keep. And the beer omelet. Some, so some we, open, we open the frozen side and you find. There's a, there's a good chunk of meats in there, a lot uh -huh. a lot of steaks, grass fed beef, stuff like that. But no that, popsicles, tombstone pizza, uh, ice cream, Ben and Jerry's, Ben and Jerry's yeah. ice cream. All right, yeah, that's I, that's my go to. Uh, some other questions: Do you ever play the WWE video game? And is it weird to see yourself? Yeah, uh, I own it, and I I don't play it that often, but I've you know given it a whirl, and it's very strange to play as yourself in the video game. Do you look at people and go, I don't really look like this, do I? No, <laughs> no. It's it, it's, it's, pretty... 20, it's 2015. They got it down. Really? Yeah, the 2K games people are incredible. Like, they, you know, you go in and you do the, the, the facial scanning or whatever. Yeah. And you wear those sensors and uh, yeah, I mean, do you all have, the like, moves? Yeah, I mean, you have, crap everywhere. And, yeah. and you stand there and they take real, like, high-res photos of your face and they map it right onto that. It, dude, it looks just wow. like me. My hair even moves around. <laughs> very, very strange. And, very strange feeling. And does the Seth Rollins... On the on the video game, does he do does he do more stuff than you? Can he do more than you can do in in, in well, real life? Come on. Well, man. come okay. His refrigerator is better stuff. I'm, I'm a living, breathing video. Game. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I mean he does a bunch of crazy stuff. Yeah, I mean it's a video game. He yeah. does wild stuff and just gets right back up. So <laughs> and sometimes I do that too. But yeah, he he's better at it than me. Here's some more questions uh, from from listeners. Is it true that there's going to be some heat between you and Roman Reigns? I mean, Roman Reigns and I don't get along. That's very clear. It's been clear for a while. I mean, it's been a year since I uh, I broke up the shield and smashed a chair into his back. So, and I, not to mention, I took away the greatest moment of his life when I uh, stole his WrestleMania victory. So, uh, I I don't see why he would like me. I I wouldn't like me if I right. did, if someone did that to me. I guess you could find that out tonight. Yeah, I mean uh, Roman will be there. He'll be live at the Wireless. So, um, and now if you if you watch Raw last night, he's uh, involved in the Triple Threat Title Match at Payback, which is our next pay per view. It's myself, him, and Randy Orton for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So, uh, yeah, he's gunning for me. Safe to say. Uh, here's another question: Where are you going for lunch today? Uh, you know, <laughs> lunch. Uh, <laughs> 
They'll cater us at the building. For <laughs> okay, that. all right. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I got to be over there early, so I'll be I'll be eating eating catering. These are all questions from Twitter. What is the biggest obstacle you had to overcome in order to become the champ? Um, man, you know what? My own ego, actually. Um, it's a good story that I tell on on uh, our one of we have a DVD, the Destruction of the Shield, where it kind of profiles the three of us, myself, Roman Reigns, and Dean Ambrose, and our rise to uh, where we where we became the Shield and disbanded and where we've gone since then. But uh, there's a pretty good story in there where when I was down at NXT, which for those who don't know, it's our uh, that's our developmental territory that's down in Orlando. When I was down there, I had a um, I had a real strong disagreement with a couple of our coaches just about the way I felt things should be done. You know, before I got to WWE, I had been wrestling uh, for six years fairly successfully uh, on the independent scene, and I had a certain way that I wanted to do things, and WWE had a certain way they wanted to do things, and yeah. sometimes, you know, that just clashes. And, and we had, I mean, I was, I was when I say this close, I mean, the viewers can't see me, but I'm holding up a, you know, half-inch little, finger to thumb thing here and why did you just look and, at me th- in that way no 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 no, no. <laughs> just like the girls do <laughs> but but i was that close to getting fired uh well, from that that close to getting fired i had to i really had to, to check kinda, yourself check myself but honestly just look at myself and say how bad do you want this and you know and for me it was like oh you know i'm, I'm gonna stay true to who i am and stuff like that but it was just it wasn't it was never about that it was just learning how to kind of grow up and compromise and understand how that is a part of any any walk of life any, any, walk any of job life. you have or any relationship you have really you have to compromise if you want to you know get the best of both worlds nuts so, and bolts of the business no yeah, matter yeah, what it yeah. is of any business for me any. it was uh, my own ego was my biggest obstacle well, wow and the WWE is is pretty much known for listen this is the way we do things you know and this is our business plan your business plan's over here Here's our business plan. You want to be part of it? You want to work hard? We'll take that. You want to be an ego? We're not going to take it. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we're all just cogs in the machine. Yeah. Uh, another brick in the wall kind of thing. You know, <laughs> you look at all the names that have come and gone, WWE history, Hulk Hogan left on bad terms, came back, Stone Cold Steve Austin, same sort of thing. Uh, and there's uh, tons of guys, and it's still here, it's still it chugging like, along. It sounds like you have that perspective that it took those guys leaving and coming back to have. Sounds like you're already smarter than that. Ah, well, maybe. <laughs> I hope so. Or just my, maybe my, I don't know, my, I can reason with myself a little <laughs> bit better. Who knows? But yeah, I mean, it was a, uh, it was, it was, it, it was definitely a challenge for sure. Um, real quick, I know we got to wrap up here. More questions from listeners. What's the weirdest thing you've had to autograph or you did autograph? Oh, man shoot dollar bill maybe or like a cell phone or something like that nothing crazy really no boobs or anything yet, i huh? mean one or two uh, <laughs> might as well get both right? i didn't say it i didn't say it uh, uh and then there's another one about autographs so where do you go about signing your action figure where yeah uh i mean i do signings all across the country but no 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 where uh, some of them are in the box but some oh. of them i imagine are hey sign yourself oh uh, yeah on the foot like andy in toy story no or? no i just try to like you know go okay. on the chest and hope that it works mm-hmm. you know it doesn't work very well it's just a big scribble usually keep it in the box if you want it signed that's my best piece of advice uh any of the guys who uh, or girls who have come through your first two classes uh, are they thinking about uh, trying to get into down in Florida? Are they thinking about trying to get into the developmental uh, WWE? Oh, of course. I mean, I think uh, the, the biggest allure of coming to my school is that you're being trained by an active WWE performer and WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Now, the last day of our last class, I was able to bring in wow. the title and show the kids, hey, this is the real thing, guys. Yeah. Um, but again... I wouldn't have traded the six years that I spent on the independence for anything. That right. was extremely valuable for me and, and uh, traveling the world and learning my craft and stuff like that. So that was extremely, for me, uh, extremely vital. And not, not if they're ready, they're ready. And they, they with a couple of them, we just, uh, we just announced that we're doing Tough Enough again. Yeah. Which, hey, guys, we're, oh, doing, we're doing Tough Enough. <laughs> We're doing tough enough. You can submit a video. Maybe you'll make it under raw. Maybe, I'm I'm saying. Maybe I'll make it under raw. You know what? I wasn't uh, tough enough for a cooking show. I submitted a video. <laughs> but yeah, uh, and some of my students have been like, "Hey, is it cool if I like make a video for tough enough?" And I'm like, 
you can go right ahead and make it. So we had a couple of them do it. A couple of the kids are throwing wow. videos and trying to trying to get picked for that. So yeah, I mean yeah, that's. I feel like if you're in this industry, that's got to be kind of your ultimate goal is to be in the WWE and and uh, you know touring the world for the biggest wrestling company in the world. It, it would only make sense to me. Uh, here are some more. What kind of student were you in high school? A lazy student. <laughs> lazy student? I got good grades. I was very smart uh, as far as like getting the work done and stuff like that. But, man, did I hate going to class. I slept through a lot of class, like a lot of them. And a lot of the teachers, man, I never got – like I get it. It's kind of personally insulting when you fall asleep in their class. But, like, man, I hate it when they wake you up. Like just let me sleep mm-hmm. if I want to sleep, What man. don't you right. get about that? You yeah. got, it's U.S. history. Just, your let face. Me, just let me sleep. <laughs> but then you, you master the art of the, the, the secret sleep, you know, where you're, where you're like the, you're propped up inside the book kind yeah. of uh-huh. or on the book. And then the worst where you would you'd snap out of it and throw the book off the desk or, like, fall over and, and drooling everywhere. How do you massage? that message then when you go and you talk to a classroom full of kids and the teachers right now stay go, in school right, no, yeah. hey i never i i got my high school diploma i got great grades never i had never had below a, a b minus and, and okay. it wasn't anything that i was you a bad were student not, you were not motivated you you just yeah. knew how to get it done without having to work hard yeah and it wasn't that i wasn't working hard i just like uh I just couldn't I couldn't attach myself to that that way of learning, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't for me. Like I loved reading books yeah. and I loved learning on my own and stuff like that. But man, going to school and just sitting in the class and listening to lectures like it drove me mad. Like I just felt like I had to be out doing something. Is it because you knew where you were going and this isn't going to help you get there so it's a waste of time kind of thing? Uh, sort of. And yeah. you know, mix that with the, the standard high school just, oh God, I Attitude. need to get up and go to that. Mix that. But yeah, by the time I was 14 or 15, like I kind of had my mind made up of where I wanted to go and stuff. So to me, for me, high school was just another, you know, roadblock, I guess, to getting to that point. Um, our producer's son, Goose, how, how old is he? He's 10 years old. What do you say to Goose is 10-year-old. He doesn't like you. Oh, he didn't like me? <laughs> he heard Seth Rollins is coming into daddy's work today. and he's, uh, not, he's not happy about it. Nah. Daddy, I don't think you should even come home tonight. Oh. <laughs> no. What did he say to you? Uh, no, I said, hey, you know, Seth's going to be on the on the show with us. You want to say? No. I don't like him. Uh, <laughs> kind of a weasel, Dad. Wow. It's kind of a yeah. weasel, Dad. Hey, well, that means I'm doing my job. <laughs> if, the, if a 10-year-old little child hates me, then we're, things are going well. <laughs> Phenomenal. And, and you're, training a, 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 you're training minions to be just like you. There's like yeah. a whole new, yeah. there's an uprising of, of weasels. Weasels. <laughs> the uprising of weasels. Yeah, we got a few of them in, in the second class. So, yeah, no, it's good. It's great. I love it. That's, that's, uh, that's what I live for. I like that. Uh, well, tonight it's SmackDown at the iWireless Center. WWE SmackDown. Um, it, it, it's, it's a long time in coming, but this is probably something you've looked forward to for years and years. Hear your name as the champion in your hometown. Yeah, man, I'm on a billboard. Pretty is that cool. pretty cool? Yeah, they got me on a billboard. People like taking pictures and like, hey, you're on a billboard. I'm like, oh, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> you're part <laughs> yeah, of the marketing yeah, plan. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least it means you're going to be around for yeah. a bit. Right? Yeah, my, they like me. Yeah. All right. I'm doing something right. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. I mean, I got a lot of friends and family interested in coming out and seeing what's going on. And, and uh, it's just going to be cool to see the kind of response that uh, I get tonight. So it'll be fun. And coming back with the world title is like a little caveat. It's like a little... Cherry on top. Absolutely. Uh, we'll we'll wrap up with this comment from Twitter, and this this should probably make you feel good. I'm not a wrestling fan, but Seth Rollins has got my vote. Taco Bell and fart scented candles. <laughs> Who would want one of those? Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> the new Yankee. Your work is done here. here. We're bringing him in. <laughs> right. Hey, congratulations. Uh, thank you for coming in. Best of luck to you. Uh, you're, you're living the dream. Thank you, know? you very much, guys. All right, good seeing you. It's always a pleasure, guys. All right, good seeing you. It's always a pleasure.